Peggy 16. Hi everyone. When we started the VIP beta test a few months ago, we told you we need your feedback and we received lots, well, tons of feedback and we used the past weeks to analyze it and process it. We have implemented many improvements in the game based on your request. The first point I want to explain is uh, the multiplayer and online component of the game. So we've added the possibility of playing ranked match in a ranged teams of two or three players. You can also host a custom match or join a match from a list of servers. Also we've added the annihilation mode, which basically has no time limit, so you have to destroy all the elder enemy units. We've also added chat before and after the match. Of course, this is disabled in a ranked match to avoid cheating. And uh, we also added uh, the replay system, which allows you to save a game and visualize it afterwards. And finally, some obvious bugs like drop hacking have been fixed in the game. We have also incorporated many requests concerning the usability of our in-game interface or gameplay feature. For example, now you have an option to leave the production menu open at all the times. We have changed the, some of the ruses, so the decoy ruses, decoy buildings or decoy army. You can now change and select the type of decoy army you want to create, only airplanes, only tanks, and you can select the type of decoy building you want to create. Also, we have improved the upgrade system, which was not really clear, so now the interface has been simplified, clarified. And finally, you can now set a different camera angle and still move and preserve this angle as you navigate into the map. Then, we processed all your requests concerning the behavior of units. One of them was uh, the request to have a, a hold fire control to maximize the efficiency of ambush situation. The thing is, somehow it would complexify our in-game interface or it would contradict the creative vision we have in the game. So what we did instead was to fix the behavior of these units to make them wait and, and react differently in ambush situations. Also, there were some requests to improve the behavior of airplanes, avoiding them to, uh, to rush into enemy defenses. So this has been tuned as well. And you can also have your airplane to return to the base using the stop command with the E key by default. Finally, there's lots of other improvements in the game, but it would be too long to describe. But very simply said, we have improved the visual and audio experience. You have new main menus in the game. And you can also play bigger maps, of course, with the new content of the open beta, so you can play huge A-player maps, even one versus one if you want to. The next topic is that we didn't have the time to integrate some of the features, but still, they will be present in the final Game Master when the game is released. For example, you will have improvement on the roost sectors in some of the map, as you suggested, and you will be able to visualize all the orders of you and your allies when you play a game. The most difficult thing to advocate was some of the requests you had, which we did not choose to integrate into the game because basically they didn't fit into the vision we had for Ruse. For example, moving information was requested, but in Ruse, different units have different moving styles, so tanks are going to move cross-country, infantry are going to use roads, so it doesn't make really sense to have this specific formation for all the units, especially as infantry can, can enter forest, for instance, while tanks cannot. The other point is uh, the force fire command. If you allow artillery to fire on a hidden or invisible units, you contradict the advantage of the camouflage net and radio silence bruises. And finally, some requests to add customizable hotkeys or to have very detailed uh, landmines, trenches, somehow contradicts um, the strategic vision of Ruse, and we don't want to go into the micromanagement in this game. Finally, we have plans for a post-launch, and we will inform you of what we plan to integrate into this process in terms of your requests. So thank you for your attention, and especially big thanks for your feedback. I hope you appreciate how we integrated into the game, and we really expect you to give us more feedback with the Open Beta Test. Thank you.